my current most favorite winter fragrances. Um, so now that it's winter, you know, the weather has gotten pretty cold, and now it's time to start wearing pretty warm and cozy fragrances. Uh, and so I have a small list of ones that I've been wearing uh, a decent amount of. Um, and as always, pretty much everything that I mention will be available in the Amazon Associate links down in the description below. So I'm going to start with one that I've mentioned before in uh, some of my autumn videos, but I do have to mention it again, which is Youth Do from Estee Lauder. I have to mention this because it's so versatile uh, for cold weather, starting in, you know, the fall and then coming into the winter. This is just one of the coziest best fragrances for cold weather. Um, it is extremely strong, not for everyone. If you don't like spices and, and musk and, you know, mixed with florals and things like that, then don't bother with this because it is just extremely strong. Uh, it came out in the 1950s during a time when women's fragrances were way muskier than they are today, uh, just on average. But um, this is, it has some balsam notes, amber, musk, uh, I think there's some civet thrown in there, um, j just a ton of really heavy notes, plus you got some spices like cloves and cinnamon and allspice, like kind of Christmassy sort of spices, so it fits really well with winter, and I really really like its longevity, which is just basically forever, infinite longevity. Um, I, I, I've learned the hard way, do not spray it onto your clothes because you will never get it out, you will never get the scent out of your clothes. Um, it just really sticks around because it's so heavy and resinous uh, and ambery. But this is really nice. Um, it smooths out with a nice vanilla note as well, so it's not too crazy. Um, but yeah, it's really perfect for the winter when you're really looking for something, uh, you know, nice and cozy to cut through that cold, uh, cold weather. So. If, you, if this is too strong for you, and, and this it is a bit too strong for a lot of people, then uh, the other one I like, which is also an old fragrance, but way more toned down, this is Emerald from Coty, uh, came out in the 1920s. So this is also an amber fragrance, but it's way softer than like Youth Do or, any, or things like that. It's actually... Shalimar by Guillain was actually inspired off of this um, because this came out first in the 1920s. So the thing about Emerald, it used to be a much better product back in the day, but now it's just kind of a drugstore fragrance, so it's much weaker than it used to be. But I still think it's pretty good. It has a nice ambery scent um, mixed with a little bit of musk, a little bit of citrus. It has many of the same notes as Shalimar, um, just on a weaker scale. But in general, I think it's nice if you want something that's just a little bit warm, but not too crazy overpowering uh, or loud. Um, really just more of a subtle, yet warm and cozy sort of fragrance. Also, it's extremely cheap. I think it's like $17. So, you know, you can get a nice full bottle for virtually uh, nothing. Uh, the only problem is longevity. Uh, they kind of just whacked the longevity a little while ago. Um, so. It's kind of more of a splash sort of fragrance. Longevity is around two to three hours, pretty weak. Um, but, you know, it's easy to reapply it and it does have a very nice scent. Now, next one is actually a men's fragrance. However, I think it's just nice unisex in general. This is uh, Leighton from Parfum de Mali. So this is a favorite among many these days. It is a very nice, very warm, slightly sweet, spicy fragrance. So, there's a little bit of coriander thrown in there, a little bit of sweet notes. Uh, I just think it's a really nice fragrance. It's very strong, but not too strong. It's not so much of a beast mode fragrance, but it will stick around, it will perform well. Um, and being from Parfum de Mali, you expect a high quality product, which this is. Um, and yeah, even though it is a men's fragrance, I think it's just a really good unisex option. Uh, it Just the sheer spicy warmness of it is just perfect for winter. Um, you know, it, it, you can't really get better than this if you want something that's spicy, but not as spicy as, say, youth do. Uh, more of just a smooth spiciness. So this is really nice for that. 
Uh, longevity is pretty good. I would say six to seven hours. Um, so a nice, reliable scent, uh, especially good for more luxurious occasions, since this is extremely expensive, being from Parfum de Mali. Um, the next one is a classic, which I have to mention, and that would be number five. So some people don't like to wear this anymore. They think it's an old lady fragrance, but I think it's a nice classic option. I like that it's a floral fragrance mixed with very heavy base notes, uh, because a lot of floral fragrances, especially more modern options, they're not really grounded by anything. They just kind of float away. Their longevity is not that great. This is grounded by very heavy uh, notes, like there's civet, there's musk, sandalwood, oak moss, amber, you know, these very intense notes. So they really, really boost longevity of the entire fragrance. Um, so it doesn't just float away after a few hours. I would say longevity on Chanel number 5 is between 7 and 8 hours. It's really good. Um, and in general, it's just the classic fragrance, classic uh, woman's fragrance. Very elegant, very sophisticated, kind of old school. But yeah, this is nice because of those base notes. They come in, especially like the civet and the musk. They come in, warm up the fragrance, make it smell really, really nice for winter. Then the last one, which is probably my favorite on this list, which is Oud Satin Mood. So this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances uh, that I really enjoy wearing. Uh, from the title, there's Oud in it, you can guess, um, but it's mixed with Turkish Rose, which I think is just a spectacular combination. Because obviously, with the Oud, you're getting something that's musky and woodsy and dry and pretty intense. Uh, on its own, and then you have the Turkish Rose, which is obviously a nice floral, sweet but not too sweet, very natural type of note. You blend that with the Oud, they balance each other perfectly, so it's not too musky, and it's not too sweet and floral. You get this kind of, you know, nice blend of the two different notes. There are some other notes in there, but for the most part you're getting that Rose and the Oud mixed together. Longevity on this is really, really good. Better than I would have expected before trying it. I would say probably seven hours, maybe even eight, leaning more towards seven, but really nice. Just overall, extremely sophisticated fragrance. Uh, it is more on the expensive side, but I would definitely say that it is worth the cost because it is such a unique, delicious type of fragrance. I, have, I haven't smelled anything that smells remotely similar to this. So when you do wear this, you, you, I mean, it's just automatically unique. It'll automatically attract a lot of attention, uh, positive attention specifically. But this is just great for the winter. It's super warm, yet smooth and slightly sweet, elegant. You know, it has all the bonuses. Uh, so this is a really good choice just overall. But that is my list for uh, winter fragrances that I'm currently uh, a little bit obsessed with. Um, but that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, of course, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.